Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 30th of November. Hey, the hurricane season uh, wraps up today. Uh, just one little thought here. Obviously, tropical weather, not an issue. Uh, a lot of rain, a lot of tornado warnings, but uh, generally speaking, Alabama got through this thing pretty unscathed overnight. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Skycam images around the network. These uh, images taken at mid-afternoon. There's a look at uh, downtown Jasper coming from the King Building. Cloudy and still some light rain. Quite frankly, this light rain has extended uh, uh, well into the afternoon, longer than we had thought. And it's cool. Readings are back in the 40s again. What a roller coaster ride we have been on. Here's the uh, sky cam coming from the campus of the University of Montevallo. And the one thing we had promised and the one thing we delivered was the big soaking. Everybody got at least one to two inches of rain. Some spots had more. We'll try and post a long list of rain totals in the blog later today. And from uh, Gadsden, the city is down there somewhere. Uh, 46 degrees uh, up in Etowah County as everybody is getting in that cool, stable air. And the rain will be ending pretty soon. Big time trough producing a ruckus across the state late last night and this morning and even into the daytime hours with severe weather issues and some flooding. But as you can see, that trough axis is getting closer and the rain will be ending soon. But again, look at that. That's at uh, 252. It's still raining as far west as Hamilton and Moulton and Haleyville. Uh, we figured by uh, 6 o'clock this evening the sky would be clear. And obviously it's going to take a little longer to be clear, but uh, we'll get there. But it's certainly turning colder. Uh, down to 43 in Haleyville. Uh, Coleman and Gadsden, 46. Birmingham at 48. So we fell right through the 50s into the 40s. And uh, we will be uh, more than likely at or just below the freezing mark early tomorrow morning if we can get the clouds out of here. And around the nation, pretty cold. It's hard to find any really warm weather. The uh, warm temperatures are limited to the South Atlantic coast now ahead of that front that came through here earlier today. Tornado watch until 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. For much of Georgia, that includes Atlanta, Macon, Athens, includes parts of the Carolinas up toward uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, and uh, Hickory, North Carolina. Charlotte's in that watch. But of course, around here, the severe weather risk is over, finally. And the QPF, this is the rain for the next five days. Now, keep in mind, this counts the rain we had this morning starting at 6 o'clock. The valid time is 6 o'clock this morning through 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And really, after this rain gets out of here this evening, we will be dry for a while. Here's our watch warning map if you're traveling. Got uh, some flash flood watches to the northeast of us through parts of uh, Virginia, up toward Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Pennsylvania, New York. Uh, out uh, west and up north, a few scattered winter weather advisories. We'll check the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. That trough is going negative tilt, but the axis well to the east, so tomorrow will be a dry day. Mostly sunny, and of course, it will be a cool day. Uh, the models are suggesting a high anywhere from 46 to 49 tomorrow. We start the day in the 20s. In fact, the GFS is showing 27 tomorrow morning. Uh, but the sky should be uh, mostly sunny. In fact, it should be clear. Uh, Thursday, another sunny day. And again, we'll start the day in the 20s, wind up in the 50s. Friday, bright sunny weather. 50s during the day. Start the day around the freezing mark, and that's pretty much the deal for the weekend. Uh, there's Saturday, high should be around 60, bright sunny weather, and Sunday. Uh, now look at the moisture, though, coming back. Sunday, we might better look at inserting a chance of a shower Sunday afternoon. If this trend keeps up, and I think we'll probably go ahead and do that. We've noticed that on the past couple of runs. All right, next week, uh, you know, the, a number of the models at times have tried to suggest some type of really cold air blast next week, and, and even a few of them suggesting some type of... Uh, issues with wintry weather. Let's see what we got here. This is at uh, noon Monday. Big vortex sets up over the northeast. Strong energy coming down the uh, backside of that uh, around Chicago and St. Louis. And down below that, you can see a new push of very cold air. That's a 1,040 millibar high with a strong northerly flow. Uh, so again, obviously, with a deal like that, uh, any precipitation would be very limited, suggesting maybe a few flurries up in Tennessee, and that's it. And then Tuesday, the colder air settles in here with a 540 line down to Birmingham, but this run, not as cold as some previous runs. But still, that's pretty cold air. Uh, that keep us highs in the 40s. And then on uh, Wednesday of next week, the 8th, 
The vortex is over eastern Canada. And again, the that suggests it will be, you know, pretty chilly, but not harshly, excessively cold for early December. Highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s, something like that. And on the 9th, pretty much the same deal. So this run of the GFS, as we have seen in the last two or three days, is dry, just pretty cold next week. And we'll check the European. That's been the model is trying to paint this uh, Gulf storm and maybe some kind of snow threat for somebody around here. Well, this is uh, uh, the 8th of next week or Wednesday, midweek, and guess what? The Gulf system, gone, vamoosed, totally off the board. So uh, the five, now this is cold. Uh, this is colder than the GFS, and it might be closer to being correct on the thermal fields. It's got the 540 line down to Pensacola and Panama City. But again, no winter weather issues. So I think the uh, message for now is that next week will be much colder than average and mostly dry. We'll check the end of the forecast. You talk about cold. This is December 16th. And uh, goodness, that's a cold pattern for the eastern part of the country. Check out the uh, thickness values. 540 line down to Mobile. Some evidence of snowy weather to the east of here. So it sure looks like temperatures are going to be below average for about the next couple of weeks. Uh, and I think that's a pretty good case of where that might just indeed verify. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.